Short Story 124 The Patterns is his games night. The Patterns house and household was in chaos. Not the usual endearing weekend morning kind, but a full blown the dog ate my homework level of pandemonium. Ten year old Lily, usually a picture of Khan, resembled a whirlwind in a tutu. Where is it? Where is it? she shrieked, tossing aside mismatched socks and crumpled clothes in her frantic search. Her older brother, Ben, a lanky teenager perpetually attached to his phone, barely looked up. Looking for your lucky socks again, Lil, he drawled, his voice muffled by the screen. Not just any lucky socks, Ben. These are the super spectacular soccer socks of success, Lily declared brandishing a single bright pink sock with a cartoon cat wearing a tiny crown. Their father, Mr. Patterson, a man who thrived on routine, peered in with a furrowed brow. What's all the commotion, loves? Lily lost her luck lucky socks again, Dad, Ben sighed, rolling his eyes. Mr. Patterson winced. Lily's lucky items were a constant sore of amusement and occasional exasperation within the family. Have you checked under your bed, Lilybug? Three times, Lily wailed. And the dryer, and the laundry basket. Maybe the super spectacular soccer socks decided to play a game of their own, Ben quipped, earning himself a glare from both Lily and their mother, Mrs. Patterson, who entered with a tray of toast. Benjamin, be nice, she chided gently. Lily, have you looked in the lost sock drawer? Lily's face lit up. The lost sock drawer, of course. Why didn't I think of that? She dashed off, leaving a trail of discarded clothes in her wake. Moments later, a triumphant cry echoed from the hallway. Found them! The family breathed a collective sigh of relief. Mr. Patterson took his usual seat at the breakfast table, newspaper propped up in front of him. Mrs. Patterson buttered toast, her lips pursed into thought. Speaking of games, she announced. We haven't had a family game night in ages. How about tonight? Lily's eyes sparkled. Can we play charades? Ben groaned. Charades, again. Come on, Ben, Mrs. Patterson coaxed. It'll be fun. Maybe this time you'll actually get a clue without needing everyone to act out the entire plot of the movie. Ben mumbled something that didn't sound very complimentary about movie titles, but a mischievous glint appeared in his eyes. Later that evening, the living room resembled a disaster zone. The coffee table held a precarious mountain of board games, popcorn bowl bowls overflowed, and Miss Max socks, courtesy of Lily's enthusiastic charades, littered the floor. The first game was a fierce competition of Monopoly. Ben, fueled by a surprising strategic streak, managed to bankrupt both his parents within a record-breaking ten minutes. Next came charades. Ben, true to his word, struggled mightily. When it was his turn to act out the Lion King, he roared ferociously, then sank to the floor, pretending to chase a gazelle with a comically exaggerated limp. It took Lily a full five minutes of frantic pantomiming before anyone guessed the movie. Just as the game reached its chaotic peak, a loud thump resonated from the kitchen. Mrs. Patterson, who had been on a roll guessing movie titles, jumped up. Oh dear, what was that? Lily, mid charades performance of Sleeping Beauty, froze. Ben followed his mother to the kitchen, emerging a moment later with a bewildered expression. The dog ate the super spectacular soccer socks of success, he announced, holding up a mangled pink sock. Lily's jaw dropped. Tears welled up in her eyes. Mr. Patterson, who had just finished a particularly triumphant rendition of The Godfather, looked up, concern replacing his usual stoicism. Mrs. Patterson, ever the peacemaker, knelt down beside Lily. Don't worry, sweetie, she soothed. We'll find a way for you to win the game without your lucky socks. Ben, seeing his sister's distress, cleared his throat. Actually, he said, a mischievous grin spreading across his face, I think I have an idea. He disappeared into his room and returned moments later, holding a pair of bright yellow socks with a picture of a banana on them. Presenting, he declared with a flourish. 
the super spectacular soccer socks of unexpected victory. Lily stared at the socks, then at Ben, then back at the socks. A slow smile spread across her face, replacing the tears. Unexpected victory, she repeated, a hint of giggle escaping her lips. Exactly, Ben confirmed, a genuine smile playing on his own lips. Now, let's go win this game. The rest of the evening was filled with laughter. Lily sporting the banana socks with pride, played with renewed confidence, even managing to snag a few properties from Ben's ever-growing monopoly empire. As for Ben, his charades may have been questionable, but his unexpected gesture towards his sister warmed the hearts of both Mr. and Mrs. Patterson. By the end of the night, the living room resembled a war zone, but a happy one. Popcorn kernels stuck to furniture, board game pieces lay scattered like colourful confetti, and a single, lonely Monopoly shoe remained on the coffee table. Most importantly, a sense of warmth and togetherness filled the Patterson household. That was fun, Lily announced, snuggling between her parents on the couch. Definitely a good game night, Mr. Patterson agreed, lowering his newspaper. Maybe next time we can play Pictionary, Ben suggested, earning a groan from Lily. Just killing Lil, maybe. Lily swatted him playfully. Just no more lions with bad knees, okay? The family dissolved into laughter, the sound echoing through the house. As Mrs. Patterson cleared away the remnants of the game night, she couldn't help but smile. Yes, life with the Pattersons was often chaotic, but it was also filled with love, laughter, and the occasional super spectacular soccer sock of unexpected victory. Vocabulary notes. General. Pandemonium. Noun. Extreme disorder and confusion. Commotion. Noun. Noisy confusion. Exasperation. Noun. Extreme annoyance. Triumphant. Adjective. Feeling or expressing victory. Mischievous. Adjective. Playfully naughty. Precarious. Adjective. Likely to fall or overturn. At home. Dishevelled. Adjective. Untidy or messy. Clothes. Frantic. Adjective. Feeling or showing wild or an uncontrolled excitement. Wail. Verb. Cry loudly and uncontrollably. Coax. Verb. Persuade someone gently to do something. Complimentary. Adjective. Expressing praise or admiration. Not used in the story. Thump. Noun. A loud, dull sound. Bewildered. Adjective. Confused and surprised. Games. Charades. Noun. A game where you act out words or phrases for others to guess. Monopoly. Noun. A board game where players buy and trade properties. Bankrupt. Verb. To lose all your money. Strategic. Adjective. Involving careful planning. Pantomime. Verb. To act out a story without speaking. Gesture. Noun. An action that expresses an idea or feeling. Family. Endearing. Adjective. Making you feel affection or liking. Perpetually. Adverb. Always or continually. Glare. Noun. A long, hard stare. Pursed. Adjective. Of lips. Pressed together tightly. Soothed. Verb. Calmed or comforted someone. Solemic. Adjective. Expressing or showing great sorrow. Not used in the story. Snuggle. Verb. To curl up comfortably close to someone. Other. Crown. Noun. A jeweled headwear worn by a king or queen on the cartoon cat sock. Complimentary. Adjective. Free. Not used in the way Ben uses it. Story written by Google Bard AI. Image created by Bing Designer AI. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you take the time to leave a meaningful comment and click on the like icon. 
If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.